friends it shall be where at the dollar tree to do a little shopping so what do you say let's go Ooh, I love the selection of these little fairy garden items. I love how you get multiples in the package for a dollar 25 and I have to tell you, I use these in crafting. I look for them year round and I use them to make my own Christmas ornaments for my great nieces and nephews. So they're great as a craft item also. But of course they're cute just to use for decor or if you make your own water globes, they work really nicely in those too. So quite a few uses for the fairy garden pieces at Dollar Tree. Now, some of you have told me you haven't been able to find the eyeglass cleaner at Dollar Tree. So I use this product myself. My Dollar Tree is always stocked with it. But look at this. It's kind of hidden. So maybe that's why you're having a hard time finding it at your store. That's why I always say if you have the opportunity, try to check out every square inch of Dollar Tree. Ooh, and look at here, I found one more random design of the jumbo erasers. This one is the Whoppers. If you have any dog friends in your family, look at this made in the USA. Um, it is a dental cleaning bone. Now, even if you're not cleaning up after a pooch, I think these 60 count dog waste bags make the perfect little trash bag for your car. I don't know about you, but I do not know how our car collects so much little pieces of garbage. Now, it's been quite a few years since we've had any kitties in our house, so you'll all have to let me know how a $1.25 is for the cat food. But I want to make sure that I show you the kitty products, too, for those of you that have cats. Now, this is... Um, where is this? New Orleans, Louisiana, for this kitty food the salty cat with salmon in gravy oh and look at this fresh step litter box deodorizing crystals to help control that litter box odor i have never seen this product at dollar tree before i have seen kitty litter though at dollar tree and here's nine lives too so is a dollar 25 a good price for the cat food a i'm thinking probably because pet food at least that what we get for dogs has gone up so much lately and here's nine lives the tender morsels that's why for our pups, I honestly have been doing a lot of cooking of chicken and veggies for them. I'm finding it more cost effective than purchasing pet food. Now these little phone pockets, I guess the idea is you stick them on the back of your phone case to hold your credit cards. Do they work or is this even true that your phone can demagnetize your bank cards? I'm scared to put my bank card anywhere near my phone for fear that when I go to use my card the next time, it won't work. Okay, these little night lights may inspire the Mandela effect. Look at that, Berenstain Bears. Now, my boys loved those books growing up, but we always called them the Berenstain Bears. So, I don't know. I could swear that it was spelled with an E and not an A, but now I see the A on all of the products. So how do you remember it? Berenstein with an E or Berenstein with an A? I'd love to know. 
And I remember using these pink foam curlers as late as the early 90s. I used to sleep with them uh, in wet hair. They were not the most comfortable thing, but I love checking out all of the hair accessories at Dollar Tree. I am telling you $1.25 is the best price that I can find for hair accessories any place and the Dollar Tree has such a wide variety and lots of brand names and different uh, sizes and items like look at these hair clips again great for setting your own hair coloring your own hair all of these different claw clips for updos and brushes and combs and thank you all for letting me know the name of that comb was a rat tail i don't know i i'm sure that i heard that name at one point but for the life of me i could not remember it I love curly hair so much in the 90s. I was all about the big country, like Reba McIntyre inspired curly hair. So if you have curly hair though, look at this. The Dollar Tree has lots of products for you to give a try. And look at this by Be Pure. It's a dry shampoo, but it has a hint of color. Has anybody tried that? I'd be curious if the color does wash out easily or does it like stain your scalp? All right, and I know so many of us here today do have grandchildren or friends with little ones, so I like to make sure I share some of the new finds in the baby aisle. Look at this adorable little teething ring, and ooh, these are little like body wash crayons. How fun is that? These would make great little Easter basket stuffers. They have different scents. And what is this? Equation Nourishing Body Wash with Ceramides. I know that's a very like popular ingredient right now. And what I really like is it is fragrance free. So I feel like that is pretty hard to find. And it's a woman owned company and it says it's not tested on animals. So that is awesome out of Dallas, Texas. I don't think I had ever seen that. All right, let's move on. Let's see if there's any new crafting items because I know we're a crafty bunch here. Look at this, a three-piece Crafter's Square wood ornament set. Now, is this real wood? It looks like real wood. It looks like discs of wood with bark and they all have a twine hanger. And then, of course, the five pack of embroidery thread. It has been a long time since I have cross stitched. It's tough on my eyes. There's more different colors. Let's see, let's peruse. Oh, they have the little crochet kits, the little animals. These are so sweet. They're the perfect little thing to try your hand at crocheting, I think. Let's see what else, if we can see anything new hiding here in the shelves, because you never know. That's why I try to take my time and scope out everything I can find so that you guys can then buzz right into the store and snatch it up. Unless you too like to just, you know, go and walk around. For me, it is very relaxing and a stress reliever. These are fun little macrame kits. And they look like there's some different styles that they have had over the past couple of months. I think they are, but sometimes it's hard to tell if just the packaging is different. But again, a fun way to try out a new craft. Oh, and the glue gun pad. That is well worth the $1.25. I use my glue gun a lot. Oil pastels. Ooh, these are the um, 
like gold glue sticks. Those are really nice at Christmas, like for writing names on stockings or ornaments. Alrighty, let's see what have we here. Bolero Face Mist Cactus Water Infused. Well, that's interesting. The packaging looks really like clean and nice. And here is the gel mask to go with it. Cactus water infused, and that's interesting. But I always like to check out the beauty products also, because you just never know what you're going to find. Like here is some name brand packaging. So see, it doesn't like to me look clearly labeled but then if you look on the packaging yourself you see that it is indeed Maybelline all right let's see what else is going on at Dollar Tree today anything new over here in the scent section I know a lot of you like to be organized the way I do, and all of these essential containers are nice. Now, this says it holds eight pairs of shoes and the three-pack of the laundry bags. And you can use this stuff for storing whatever you want. Ooh, they have the little hammock, like for the stuffed animals. My boys had those when they were young, and my grands had them too. They have the vacuum sealed bags. All right, now I own some of these. I have to say I like them. I have not had issues with them ripping. They're kind of almost to me, they're like a waterproofiness. The inside is almost plasticky. I'm not sure how to describe it but I do like them. Ooh, this store has the Clorox clothespins also, and they have the classic wooden clothespins. Let's see. Oh, these are the velvet uh, coated hangers and also the scarf holders. And again, you could just use them for whatever you want. If you can come up with a more clever idea, then I would say go for it. Lots of collapsible storage bins, and I'm finding lots of new prints. And the Dollar Tree is telling us that they are now heavier weight, which I definitely appreciate. But some really nice soft spring colors. Ooh, I love this shade. It looks like ferns on it. Very nice. Ooh, I think that's my new favorite. Oh, here's one of those bins out of the package. So see, it's quite large and it does have two handles on it. All right, we'll just walk through the toy aisle. If something jumps out at me, um, we'll take a closer look. Oh, I do want to uh, share these awesome photos sent in to me by Joan. And so thank you, Joan, Maeve, and Winnie. Too. If you would like to send me some photos to share in an upcoming video, I'll include my email here at the end. And as always, my dear friends, until next time, remember, please be well.